Question 23. Here is a part of a train timetable. And you can see all the people there waiting for the train, but we're not really interested in the picture, so let's scroll down. It says, How long does the first train from Edinburgh take to travel to Inverness? Well, remember, each column is a different train. So this first column is train 1, train 2, train 3, train 4, 5, 6, and 7. So there's actually seven different trains. But it does say the first train from Edinburgh. Well, train number 1 doesn't actually go to Edinburgh. Because there is a blank space in that column for Edinburgh. So train number 1 doesn't go to Edinburgh. So the first train from Edinburgh is actually the first train with a time in at Edinburgh. And the first train from Edinburgh is train number two. So we must identify which train we're interested in. So the first train from Edinburgh leaves Edinburgh at 9.35 in the morning. And it arrives in Inverness at 1.00. 10. So what we need to do is figure out the time gap from 9.35 in the morning to 10 past 1 in the afternoon. And we can do that in stages. Well, we could go up straight away to the next whole hour, which would be if we add on 25 minutes, that would take us to 10 o'clock. And then from 10 o'clock, if we add three hours, that would take us to 1300 hours, which is one o'clock. And then from one o'clock, we would need to add on an extra 10 minutes to get to 10 past one. So all together, we'd have 25 minutes to 10 o'clock. Then 3 hours to 1 o'clock, and then 10 minutes to 10 past 1. So you put those three answers together, and we'll get our answer. 3 hours plus 25 minutes plus 10 minutes is going to be 3 hours and 35 minutes. So that's the answer. 3 hours, 35 minutes. Let's scroll down to see what we need to do for part 2. It says... Ellen is at Glasgow Station at 1.30pm. She wants to travel to Perth. She catches the next train. At what time will she arrive in Perth? So she's at Glasgow at 1.30pm. So let's just rub this off because we don't need that on anymore. That'll just confuse matters. So she is at Glasgow at this station at 130 so she's missed this train, 9.15, she's missed 11.15, she's just missed this one, which is at 1.15. She's actually coming in at 1.30pm, so she's actually coming in shortly around here, 13.30. It then says she wants to travel to Perth, she catches the next train. So if she's missed this train, she's missed this one, she's missed this one, She's missed the 1.15. She gets there at 1.30. Probably being dropped off by a friend outside the station. The next train she can get on is this one. So she'll get on the train at 1.45. At what time will she arrive in Perth? Now we know that this is the train that she's on. When does this train get to Perth? Well, it gets to Stirling at 2.29 and it gets to Perth at 3.15 p.m. or 15.15 in the 24 hour clock. So this time here is the time that we are looking for, 15.15. So you can write 15.15 straight in there or the examiner would also accept 3.15 p.m. if you have turned it into the 12 hour clock. Either of those two answers are acceptable.